Hello and welcome back to Korriban and Knights of the Old Republic 2. We have just ran away from Darth Sion and we've learned that he is only here to get rid of Kreia, his master. But we are going into this dark cave which we were warned against going into before we had visited the Wait a second, I just realized something. The game, they've cheated us out of something. There was loot in there. We can never get the loot because the door is shut. No, there was loot um, in the old headmaster's quarters, but because we did the training first, we never actually got into the old headmaster's quarters. So now we just have some thorium charges for no reason. Now, now I'm just feeling cheated. Oh, a half eaten corpse. Don't mind if I do. Tukata and Shyrock and Shyrak. Datapad appears to belong to a Sith uh, Tukata trainer. I released several of my best trained Tukata into the caves to finally eradicate the Shyrak infestation. So far, so good. My only concern is the eagerness the beasts have for the hunt. I must apply extra punishment to the Katata that ignore their masters before they revert back to their predatory nature. Ah, and then they just ate him. I, I see. How may I serve? Well, you can serve by doing uh, a little bit of this. Right. This is the, by far the best way to get rid of these guys. You have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! I am listening. Right. Cool. Uh, we'll grab that. The honor is Something mine. you need of me? The more stuff here. Oh, Sith corpses. We'll have the ion rockets. And the Chani dueling shields. And the Oasis Keeper role, or the Ose, uh, the Osas Keeper robes, intelligence, wisdom, charisma. Well, that's sounding like a robe for Kreia. Although the intelligence is quite nice for us. What does our current robe give us, actually, out of curiosity? I know we lose a couple defense, but actually... We would gain defense because our dex is higher than that right now. Although it does give us a dex bonus. So actually we would lose, we would definitely lose the defense. Gain stealth, regeneration, con, and charisma. We would keep our charisma, we would lose a point in con. But for this, we would gain four points in intelligence, four points in wisdom, and two points in charisma. So we'd actually gain a point in charisma. We lose a defense bonus. You know what? I think it's time that we were wear a robe. That's us. We're wearing a robe now. That's who that's who we are now. How may I we're a robe wearer. Right. I know, we we've changed. Just not right. Although if we have a look at our intelligence. Ooh. That's that's some nice intelligence. We're very smart. How and very nice, very good at talking to people. Right. Just gonna walk in here and lightning them all. Anyone that we see. Oh, wait. It helps if they're uh, in a group. That makes it a lot more useful to lightning. Uh, yes. I'm just using Vesas right now because she has the best AoE. I mean, we could use Force Wave, I suppose. It's just not quite as good. Oh! Another... Keeper robe. Uh, hey, why don't you wear the next keeper robe? Just, uh, you know, whatever. Thought, hey, what, what brilliant robe, and then we have another one. It is a good Kreia one, but she already had, she already has the, um, the other robe that we are. So she's not in desperate need of one. Uh, because I think we're gonna have to leave this cave at some point. I'm just gonna, like, walk in one way and head out the other. Oh yeah, lightning. Do it. Or lightning. Okay. Uh, just checking there's no loot over there, which I don't think there is. Ooh, there's remains. Uh, we'll have that, yeah. Oh, lightning them, definitely. Lightning. Good. 
Nice, next one. Good. Yeah, the, we can just follow the other path out, which works for me. Plasma grenades. I am ready. We do have a lot of grenades because I never end up using them because I'm like, why would I use grenades? They're just not as good as just hitting them. That's fine. Who is this lead? This lead back round to the start. We might end up exploring more of this area then actually if it leads back round to the start. I thought there was only two paths. No, let's try Force Wave. Let's see how it does compared to the other one. There's a lot of knockback. You know what? I don't really need the knockback. I just need the damage. Clear that. Lightning. Yeah, lightning. Don't do that. Just use lightning. I am ready. This one is mine. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Got any more loot here? Look that one of them was gonna have loot. Whoa, there's a Sith corpse. Security tunneler. Okay. Jolie's room. Like Jolie Bindo? Uh restricted to neutral. Jolie Bindo remained outside the Jedi Order to in his pursuit of knowledge. These powerful yet unassuming robes were believed to have been owned by him. So his current whereabouts are unknown. These robes can be upgraded with some underlays. Hmm. Okay. Well, we know a neutral Jedi who might be able to, uh, well, Jedi is a interesting term. We know a neutral person who may be able to use those robes, so we'll see if she likes them. Right. Together, then. You bad it? Of course, there is another person who could use robes in our group. And we do have enough special robes to give her some robes, potentially. If it is better for her. But we'll see. Right, head on through here. Uh, Yeah. We'll just head back in through the center then. There are only two paths. We could take one in, take one out. But because there's three, I'm just going to explore this whole thing. Because uh, it's easier to just do it on the first path through here. It means on the way out, we don't spend a lot of time going back and forth. Alright, hit hit it with those. Um, Vissess. Uh, not that. Lightning. My Good. That's what I'm looking at. Something That's good. Of me? Yeah. Get that one. Nice. Disruption gloves. Ceramic jar. Filled with stuff. Ceramic jar. Filled with stuff. Nice. Kill the next one. See, here's the other option is we just take a round of combat to kill them. Yeah. I mean, it kind of works. It's not quite as effective as the lightning strike. I think force lightning might be the most effective way of killing these things. Another keeper rope, huh? <laughs> Alright, well, um... I guess these really good robes are just everywhere, so there you go, <laughs> whatever. Alright, although intelligence isn't that useful for a lot of characters, uh, although there is one character who is extremely useful for. Uh, the Zabrak battle armor? Oh, that's the Sith Assassin who's attacking us. What's the Zabrak battle armor? Uh, Zabrak battle armor? Hmm, alright. It's not really that impressive, huh? Kill the assassins. Soon you shall know pain. <clears throat> That's fine. There's oh, another one here. Oh, just single hit them. Thank you for the lightning there. Um, it's very useful. Right. A weakness is revealed. We can't even get in close A enough. Let's use one of those. Oh, one of those. A weakness is revealed. Nice. Good. Well, that's fine. Level up. Level up. Unarmed specialist. So, more points in here. Two points in treat injury. Powers. Uh, master speed. Definitely. Okay. Quick save. Uh, little heal. Yeah, nice. 
Um, so we've got a little bit we can explore here. There's an assassin. Well, there's not assassins. I guess those are beasts over there. Crystal yellow. Okay. Oh, there's more hiss. Everyone, uh, more the hisses here. This one that looks like where we need to go. A weakness is revealed. Yeah, okay. A weakness is revealed. Yeah, it definitely looks like that's where we need to go, so I'm gonna go the other way. Why not? Okay. Head along this way. Nothing over there. Uh nothing over here. Alright. What's in the jar? I thought it was gonna be another one of the robes. Poison grenade, anything in the back jar? Nope, it's broken. Okay. Well, quick save. And let's head into, well, the room where I presume all the darkness is coming from. At least, as far as we've been told. Yeah. So, in we go. The power I felt coming through the cave is just ahead. I believe you are strong enough to explore the tomb ahead. This tomb has not been plundered. Its mysteries may still be intact, but so might its traps. Take great caution. I sense a great presence within this tomb. Master, it calls to you. It's a wall of the Dark Force. I am not strong enough to go through. You will have to face the challenges of this tomb alone. Are you ready? I will have to be. I will go on alone. Do not heed the words of the Jedi Council. The Republic will fall if we do not act now. Already the Mandalorians have taken three systems along the rim. They will only grow more powerful with time. Come stand with me. We will use our might to help the Republic in its time of need. Join Revan and I. Together we will battle this menace. Hmm. Well, I've been here. This is when you recruited me for the Mandalorian War. The Jedi Council is wise, but will take too long to deal with this threat. We must act now to stop the Mandalorians. I have heard of you. Your masters speak well of you, of your skills in battle. Join us. Oh yes, of course. Um... Uh, that's still the way we're at. Um, I joined without hesitation against the wishes of the Council. The Jedi Council is wise, but can make mistakes. History has proven this time and time again. The Council seems content to watch, to debate, while entire systems fall to the Mandalorians. If we don't act now, there may be no Republic army to assist in the future. I sense you will join us. What are your reasons? Just as a point, I don't think that Bastila was here. Just as a... I'm just thinking. Would she have been? It doesn't make a lot of sense for her to be here, given her background, as far as we understand it from the first game. But whatever, maybe we're going to get some more stuff. The Mandalorians would have won, is one that we could go for. Um... Yeah, I had to do it. The council was taking too long. The Mandalorians would have won. You should trust in yourself and in your instincts. It was within our power to end the war, and the council chose to debate behind closed doors while planets burned. Hmm. Well, um, yeah, we're, we're still going for the, uh, I think they were making a mistake. We barely won the war just in time. Yes, that's right. Without us, the Republic would have been no more. And the Council? Their vaunted wisdom bred only in action. 
and that would have led to destruction greater than anything born of the dark side. Mm -hmm. So, if you could do it all again, the real question is, would you? The Mandalorians await on the edge of space, eager to crush the Republic. You know how this turns out. Would you do it any different, knowing what it costs you? Knowing what it costs the rest? No. I, I think that's that's our answer. No. That, that it, we would not have done anything different. So knowing all that would transpire, would you still follow Revan and I? Excellent. And now you are all alone. Would you join me now? You didn't follow Revan and I down our path. Join us. Your journey hasn't ended yet. Hmm. Basla didn't join you. She warned us all to obey the council. She didn't join us that day. But in time, she came to our way of thinking. And even before then, she wavered and wondered what would have happened. It is a familiar path. There were those who wished to follow you to war, yet remain behind. They came to hate you for the choices they wished to make. Hmm. Well, I didn't follow you then, and I won't follow you now. Are you so certain? Every step along the way, we did what we thought was right. Perhaps the same path lays before you. But the time of words are done. Now it is time you experienced the full power of the dark side. Hmm. Okay. I like it. Oh, and each of these guys has a name as well. I wonder if they're from... There were some comics here. I wonder whether some of these are from the comics. That would be neat. First thing I'm going to do... Uh, battle meditation. Okay. Then, one of those... So all of them are going to be stunned and then straight in at Mallet. Okay. That is definitely not very good. Uh, we need to heal. Uh, usable. Have ourselves a life support pack. Nice. Kill Mallet. We got him. That was our target. Wow, interesting. I really like this kind of section where they get you to confront your character. I think this is the best kind of section that this game has. But yeah. Oh, we do need to heal as well. But luckily for healing, we've got a pretty easy way of doing that. Yeah. Quick save. Head in further to the tomb. Right. Well, what's through this door then? Oh, Shyrak Worms. I'm a little less impressed by these, if I'm honest with you. Let's get them. Yeah. I'm actually supremely less impressed by these. Nice. Rubble. Rabbit. Nothing else here, really? Just a tiny bit of rubble? Really? Okay. Well, that's fine then. Uh, I am gonna... Well, no, I'm not gonna use speed because it might mess up the cutscenes. Yeah, because it'll last long enough. We'll just walk. It's not really that far away. Okay. Uh, so. Through this door. I'm assuming forward is the way that will lead us as in to the next stage and the right and left just lead us to different like weird tombs or like side bits of the tomb I should say uh hey um no neither of them got knocked over interesting okay almost killed this one yeah I'll do it ooh wicker fruit locker with some stuff in it. Okay. Those ceramics we could definitely click on before. Little save. 
I'm sure we could click on those. Nope. Okay. Fine. So neither of those things have names, like these two uh, little rooms to the side, so... I'm hoping that the next room will give us another chance to uh, examine ourselves. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Well, that's alright. If all it is is killing Shyrax, I can cope with that too. Right. Do a heal. Nothing else there. Carry on. For a massive lightsaber. What's there? A severed arm holding a data pad. The data pad is blown out and remain and inoperable. However, its final message remains burnt into the display. The others were confident they could sneak past the Shyrak breeding grounds. I was ordered to lock the door and await their return. I hope they can find us a way out of this tomb. These visions threaten to break through all the discipline I've gained in my training. Okay, well. Ah, uh, I see. Speed. Pick one, kill it. Okay, we get a lot of attacks. These guys are stronger though. Definitely stronger. Although you get less XP for them. Alright, interesting. Yeah, oh that one's dead. This one? Well, now it's dead. Okay. Well, we're in here now. Uh, I might take Master Valor. Then Master Speed again. As it ran off. Perfect. Uh, then a little battle meditation. And get him. Right. Nice. Okay. Keep at it. Yeah, another one. Just keep at it. Yeah. Absolutely destroying them. And then this one. Ooh, a little bit more. Okay, around the corner. Yeah, kill it. Ooh, it's fairly tanky. Alright. Notice our force is really low. Yes, we have been using force powers quite a bit, which we don't usually do. Oh, hey. It's fine. We can kill it. I haven't had a vision in a while, though. So. It seems like the caves are now just, uh, you know, fights. It's fine. We can, we can deal with that. Also, no loot in here at all, which is very weird. Ah, there's got to be a vision coming up. I mean, look at this corridor we're walking down. This is going to have some monumentous stuff at the end of it. Yeah, okay, this must lead to the vision every time you hit one of those dark patches, I would guess. Oh, that's Republic. Com says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place is crawling with enemies. I know we've got our orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. Hmm. Well, remember, we charged the line. The losses were terrible. General, it would be suicide to go forward. There's just too few of us. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean something? Hmm. Um. Well, let's see what we're going for. Yeah, that was the thing on Duxon, wasn't it? We learned about it when we were on Duxon. Was that the Republic were basically sacrificed in many places so that the battle could be won. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think that we, we have to trust that the tactics in the war were correct. Only Revan could answer that. Even afterwards, no one could piece together exactly what happened. We won, though. We... 
We will press forward if you ask it. The path is mined. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses, General. Hmm. Um, well. You know, we have orders. We follow them. I'll tell the men, General. I know that is the death of them, but... Everyone, you heard the General. Charge! Charge! <laughs> Just the way it's got to be. I think we're we're also in a mode where we, we can't change history, basically. I mean, we literally can, but you know, we're not going to. Right. Behind here. I also noticed that we didn't lose any, um, like, we didn't lose any, what's it called? Like, we didn't gain dark side points, that's what I was looking for. I guess maybe you don't gain or lose dark side points in here unless you say something truly awful. I don't know. What we, we said was fair, I guess. What I guess what we said was neutral, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, in our vision, we won the battle. Again. Hmm. So what's this called? The chasm. Well, that makes sense. There's a giant chasm and it is a room, so... Let's go left again first. So I think forward's gonna be, again, the way to the next one of these visions. But at least we know what triggers the visions now, or um, what shows that there is a vision to trigger, is that um, weird kind of electricity on the ground. So if we see that, we know that we shouldn't go that way until we've cleared everything else. There's no loot in this room? It seems like this these places were designed for a lot more loot. Also, we just got all of our force points back. What's up with that? Like, because we had no force points. Now we have full force points. Does this lead to a corridor? Yes, yeah, so that looks like the way forward. Just looking at what's that direction. I'll have a look down this way as well. Yeah, another small room. This seems like it should have loot in it. I mean, if the other one didn't have loot, this one should. Wow, a lot of misses. There we go. Wicker, foot locker. Uh, cool. And the rubble. Skills in plan. Also cool. Right. Carry on forward. So through here, we've got one of these weird beasts. Well. Uh, force barrier seems good. Master Valor seems good. Night speed seems good. Or Master Speed. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, it's just one of these. Oh, never mind. I thought it was something else, but... Nope, we absolutely destroyed it. Okay. Is that us? That's another vision. What about this way? No visions this way. Okay. Well, we'll go this way until we're, uh... Non-speedy, then. Okay. Non speedy, but we should be able to go through this door really all right. Ah, security door. That sounds like somewhere where we can go. Oh, who's that? Dead Jedi. Well, obviously, I'm gonna have a look. The data pad. Most of the data has been purposefully deleted. One entry remains the visions, the visions. They thought to trick me by taking the form of my fellow Jedi, but my discipline is so strong, I tricked them back. One fell to the Shyrak, the other fell to my lightsaber. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know what that is then. Uh, hello. You're very sneaky. Right. Once we kill it, they'll stop doing damage to us, is my logic here. Right, one more. Heal. It's also interesting to know that you can trick the visions. That kind of implies that they have like... Well, I guess they by trick you only got them to be hit by the Shyrak. It's not like he did too much else. I don't know. Hmm. 
Although there were other people in here, like other Jedi. Oh wait, no, I understand what happened. He went mad, and he trapped the other Jedi out there, and they died to the sh one died to the Shirak, and the other one died. Literally, like he killed them. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, we got a shape. Is that Kreia? I mean, she's got two hands, but it could be. It is. You are to be commended for making it this far. Hmm. Well, what are you doing here, Kreia? You've revisited the dark moments of your past, and now you must face the present. Hmm. What do you mean? Your confusion is natural. The others and I will help you understand. The others? Get away from her! She's a dark Jedi. Oh, hey, Atten. Um, why'd you say that? Atten, I've had enough of your snide contempt. Hmm. Well, Freya, calm down. I will protect myself from this foul-mouthed ruffian. Hey, what's the commotion here? Stay out of this, Beodor. This is a personal dispute between Atten and myself. You're threatening Atten with a lightsaber, and I'm supposed to just stay out of it? No. Uh, I have can't help but notice she's lost her hand again. Okay. Um, put away your weapons. The three of you would challenge me? You sorely underestimate the power of the Force. Think again, Kreia. Your dark influence will end. Your friends are all arrayed against me. Will you stand for this? Hmm. Um... I don't know. That's an interesting one. Do we accept we're being manipulated? Do I stand with her anyway? Or... Or do I sit back and watch and do nothing? Hmm. If you choose not to choose, you still have made a choice. So... You know what? I think we stay with Kreia. What they are doing is wrong. I will stand with you. I will be honest with you. I have fallen to the dark side. Does this change your decision? Um... Well... No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, I will protect you. So, that, well, actually, you know what? I'm going to say we are on the same side, you and I. Not dark side or light side, but we are on the same side. Excuse me? Well, you know, whatever. I defeated all of them with a single hand movement. There's a little bit of darkness for us, but here's my logic behind it. We are still, we're like, we're loyal to people, not to like, a cause. And Kreia is effectively our master in everything. You know? She, she's our teacher, she's our mentor. And we're not gonna abandon her. It's as simple as that. We're just not gonna abandon her. Now, is that good or bad? doesn't matter that that's that's what we that's what we're doing oh it's Revan and a dark Jedi wait that's us all right is it us hmm many people were wondering where the great Revan had disappeared to Oh, it's us. Okay, well, um, speed. Because they won't buff. And we're good. No, don't use it again. Oh, wow, that was an attack. Never mind. Hey, Revan. Hmm. I didn't expect to see you again, Revan. Why are you here? I mean, if you want, I can kill you. But on the other hand, I do really need to heal, so, um, give me a second. Defeat him. 
I like that that did damage somehow. That's a weird bug I found. I like it though. Oh, uh, life support pack so we don't die. We might still die. In fact, I'm almost dead certain we will die. We've fallen to Revan? Revan's final attack didn't kill you, but you feel the taints of the dark side coursing through you. Hmm. I feel weak, like I lost a part of myself. As I said, the dark side is very strong here. It tests you, it tests us all. If you fail that test, there may be more tests to come. Be on your guard. Search the room you are in. You should be able to unlock a passage that leads outside the tomb. Mm. So we gain more dark side points for coming in here. We're no longer a bastion of light. I mean, we're still light, but... We've been challenged. The dark side has weakened us. Hmm. And we've questioned our own decisions. Supported what we did during the Mandalorian War. Committed again to following our uh, mentor. An interesting situation, huh? This is Ludo Crash. Get his war sword and his armband. All right. What's his war sword like? Though most favor lightsabers, some Sith prefer the more visual feel of metal cutting flesh. These blades are usually blended with cortis to protect against lightsaber sparring damage. This particular war sword once belonged to the Dark Jedi Ludo Kresh. Okay. Uh, we should have also gained a Ludo Kresh uh, thing. Like something else. Sure, I saw another Ludo Kresh thing, which is why I'm now like. Oh, it's his armband. Restricted to the dark side would give us strength and defense. Mm. Okay. I mean, right now that seems like a good one for Candorous. Through here. We have some rubble with adhesive grenades. And this way. I guess we were maybe meant to lose one of the earlier tests, because I don't think there's likely to be more tests to come here. Oh, okay. We'll take that. We'll take that again. Let us head forward. Back to the Shirat Cave. Well. We have been tested. And we were found a little wanting. So, we now get the uh, slow walk back. Where we had to think about our actions there. We had to think about what that means for us. Effectively, what we've said is the Mandalorian Wars, if it was to happen again, we would follow the same path. Which, to be fair, that's what Atris told us earlier on. We have not changed. We're the same person who left in terms of that. But, um, I think the difference between the us who was in the Mandalorian Wars and the us now that I think the Mandalorian Wars Us was, like, all in on the Revan train, you know? They were all in on the Revan has gone to war and we are following Revan. And that's, like, yes, we're going to fight the Mandalorians, but it's because of Revan's pro propaganda. The Us now, we're, we're not doing it because Revan or, or anything like that. We would do it because of the cause itself. You know, it's more of a, we're doing it because that leads, like, that that feels like the right and just thing to do. You know, you know what I'm meaning? There's like a slight different, it's like the same action, but different motivations. Anyway, uh, I think it is time to leave Korriban. It's been a weird journey, but I believe it is time to probably go back to Onderon after a cutscene. Which we will have now. Do you not speak basic? Oh, a message from Kelborn? What is it? I received an urgent communication for you from Kavar. Return to the camp as soon as possible and I will tell you more. Um, okay, so Kavar is trying to reach me. I expected as much. Hmm. Um, 
Yes, we should return as soon as possible. Iridonian, I would like to speak with you about your assistant. My assistant? Oh, right. What is it? I believe he has it in his head that my relative size is comical. I find his disparaging beeps and whistles to be quite annoying. I thought only utility droids had size issues. If I am to continue to operate with him, I would appreciate it if you spoke with him about this. Otherwise, I will be forced to find a more permanent solution. Hmm. Okay. Journal entry. We have received word from Kelborn. I do want to speak to Kreia about the cave, if we can do that. Because that seems like the kind of thing she might want to speak to us about, you know? Hello. Yes. Have you come with questions? Yes. Um, can you attune my that crystal? That crystal is bonded to you through... Most interesting, is that... Hmm, okay. Well, we do need to break that. Do you know Revan? I miss... Nope. Oh, okay. Cool. Well... Let us, uh, well, remove the crystal and rebond it to us because we're no longer, you know, the ultimate goody two shoes. We now have a little bit of uh, something else to us. We can upgrade the robe. That's awesome. Uh, what we should do, though, is de equip our previous robe and then use the stuff from it. Uh, it would be nice when you equip a robe if it said, hey, do you want to equip whatever, you know, thing you had on it before? That'd be neat. Uh, so we can use the bio-restorative stuff. Oh, and that gives us the uh, constitution I was missing, which is nice. Um, have we got anything else? We had another one. We have another one of those robes equipped, so we can give, like, that one over on it. Then we have another one of those robes somewhere down here. Yeah. We can put an environmental underlay on. Nice. So, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to give... This is going to waste uh, shields as all of my, our companions use them, but... He's got the Baron Du uh, one here. We can give her Jolie's one. I think she's okay with the one she's got. Mira, however, is using the Ballistic Jacket, which gives her five defense. Which is actually really good, now that I think about it, even compared to this. The plus four intelligence is all I'm thinking there, though. And that would give her a much better sniper shot, but... No, we'll keep her with her mesh jacket, actually. Also makes her look more like her. We also got a new sword, uh, new lightsaber for her, didn't we? We got this one. Either that or Ludocresh's war sword, but... No, we'll give her the short lightsaber. It does need upgraded, but we'll give her that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I should have looked at it first, but it's going to be the one that has no benefits on it currently. Yeah, this one. Uh, not the disrupting emitter, but the improved ion cell, I guess. Yeah. Do you want to change our lightsaber color? I kind of like the cyan. But we could we could see what other stuff we've got. So ours is currently cyan. What other colors we got? Hmm. That's some interesting ones. You know what we could do? Change the lightsabers of our companions so that I know which one is which. So Mira can have the orange one. It matches her hair. Uh, Visas having the red one makes sense. Um, I believe that this one is on Kreia. Um, so you could have the violet one. Yeah. This one is on Atten. I don't know. Yellow for Atten, I think, is quite cool. I don't know if that's the right color, but cool. There is a correct color, by the way, depending on what type they are, as in what your Jedi... Uh, I'm trying to think what, uh, what your class is. There is a color that goes with each class. Um, I think it's like... For the yellow, the blue, and the green ones, I think it's... Consulars are yellow... Sentinels are blue, and then the other one is green. I forgot. Guardian is green. Is Guardian the other one? I think it is. Anyway, something like that. But I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. And next time, we're going back to Onderon. Well, back to Duxon to find out what's going on there. And it's our last planet to go to and to complete. So. That is going to be huge and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, 
Thanks for watching. See you then. Goodbye.